Hey yo ladies and gentlemen, how's it going and welcome on back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know I am because the brand new update inside of Rush Royale has just dropped and we're diving into it together. That's right ladies and gentlemen, update 24.1 has just dropped inside of Rush Royale and I am super excited to be jumping into it with you guys today. Two major things coming from this update and the first one is Harley Quinn talents, absolutely insane and the next thing is that almighty Tesla rework but today we're jumping in with that Harley Quinn level 9 talent so the left hand side stage objective is every copy in by the Harley Quinn gives you a playing card if a specified amount of cards is accumulated by the end of the wave the 10% bonus to the damage of all units on the field and the amount of mana received is activated for the next wave moving on to that right talent now then guys changeling tricks every copy in by the Harley Quinn gives you a playing card Copies created by the Harley Quinn revert to the Harley Quinn after 30 seconds. After obtaining 5 cards, the Harley Quinn trades them for 50 mana. All in all then my guys, the Harley Quinn talents don't seem too broken, they don't seem too overpowered. We'll have to wait until we do jump into a game to see how they really are playing out. But today's deck is Cultist. What better way to test out the Harley Quinn talents than with my best deck? And guess what guys, check this out. Boom! Cultist finally gets its unit animation and it looks sick. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy they finally gave it to him. Harley Quinn, you've already seen that when I was explaining the Harley Quinn talents. But here's the enchanted sword. The two red and blue swords battling it out, fighting for victory. Absolutely amazing unit animation and giggling a little bit at the end there as well. Sweet animation there. Jumping into the Corrosion Chemist as well, absolutely amazing, drops his potions, breaks his armour and we're reverting back to the beginning there. Absolutely amazing my guys, absolutely amazing. Are you ready ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Jumping into our first match with the brand new Harley Quinn talents. We have got a little bit of a deck switch up from what you just saw though. We've taken the Chemist out, replaced it with the Summoner and we've also got rid of that Mermaid for our Jag. We managed to get a beautiful green tile in that centre position. We've come up against the Max Demon Hunter. He's got the level 11 sword, the 13 Dryad, the 9 Summoner, and he's also got them first set of Harley Quinn talent. So let's hope that we can both get set up, both look absolutely amazing, and just go the absolute distance, my guys. Make sure you are dropping a like. I'm really excited for this one. I really, really am. We've got our cultists in the centre already. We're looking pretty good, to be fair. We've got a 1, 2, and 3 cultists in the centre. We've got one in the corner ready to sacrifice. We just want to find a few more swords, and hopefully they're going to be blue, and we can get our guys to the 10. Get our guys looking good, and then get some merges on them. You know how it is. You know how this one rocks and rolls. And so, we've got that left-hand side Harley Quinn talent rocking and rolling today, so hopefully we can actually make use of that 10% extra damage. Not 100% sure on how it's working just yet, to be quite honest. But I think if we manage to copy up to 5 units around, I do believe next round we'll get a 10% increase in damage. I think that's how it's working. I think, my guys. Don't hold me to it just yet. Or if you do know better than I do, let me know down in the comments. But I do think that's how it's working. We've got Warlock coming out in less than 5 seconds already. Where is he come from? Where is that first round gone, guys? That first round has just disappeared. But a 50k Warlock is going down like a sack of absolute. Wait for it. 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 Keep waiting. Wait for it. Spuds, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Taylor coming out next, which is the sound of the pound. I'm going to try and get my merge four on that tile as high a merge as possible this game because he's going to be doing absolute damage. As long as I keep as long as I can keep on merging on them green tiles I'm going to be looking absolutely fire absolutely gravy baby so let's keep it going we're managing to merge up to the merge 3 dryad there we've got another merge one there we've got a blue awakened sword on the board now baby so as soon as we can get that one merged up we're going to be looking absolutely grande merging up for a merge 2 court it's there a bit unfortunate but you get what you're given we're going to merge them and get oh not the merge 3 harley or dryad unfortunately but we'll be able to get rid of that sword at some point i ain't too bothered about that and there we go with the merger bob the awakened sword putting all four all three of our three cultists on the four sword sorry but there we go we're getting two of the right ones onto the five now there's another blue awakened sword we're merging them all up for the seven seven and the five we're merging them up for the blue awakened sword no that's not the blue awakened sword that's just the normal blue sword 
but it's a blue sword nonetheless so as soon as we do get merged up for another merge three in the corner we'll get that one merged up because we do not want to be merging two merge threes into where i need a cult is because that is just dangerous plays risky plays and i don't need to be playing risky like that why would i do it to myself it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for him but merging up for the 14 percent increase in damage now is absolutely beautiful there's the two merge threes in the corner so i can now go ahead and merge them two into the corner and hope for a dryad maybe just maybe and we're getting a summoner and we're not getting a dryad unfortunately we just got two merge four cultists out of both of them somehow imagine if we got two merge four dryads out of that our board would be looking so much different right now well we'd have a merge five and we'd be halfway to a merge six but to me that's a lot of difference anyway my guys we managed to sacrifice there we managed to get another cultist there that is our fourth so I do believe, yes, our Harley copies are counting down from 5. So yes, when you do get the 5 Harley Quinn counters, you activate that 10% increase in damage. And it says in the description that it activates the next round. So I'm not too sure how that's working, if it does activate in the next round or if it activates in this round or what. I'm really not too sure. We'll have to keep on playing and figure things out. But we've got another Blue Awakened Sword on the board now. Another one. That is just BEA beautiful. Unfortunately, we didn't merge up for the merge three dryad again there. It's another high merge cultist, which I could have done with merging maybe onto the board. It's annoying when I merge into the corner for a nice high merge cultist, knowing that I just have to sacrifice it. That's the most annoying thing. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We're not coming out now, my guys, and we are more than ready for him. Two out of three of our cultists still at the ten swords now as well. Sacrificing J in, cleansing. Look at that. All three of the beautiful most beautiful things happening to us and we've got ourselves a merge four dryad there so we're getting him up to the merge five we're looking absolutely gravy now guys we've got tribunal coming out next and i do not even think that he gets the hit off on us how is my guy looking over there he's got a beautiful merge six on a crit tile so he's looking absolutely sound as a pound with that one but oh there we go putting my last guy to the ten swords that was absolutely amazing but yes that was our, that's what i was in the middle of saying he hasn't got any of his Demon Hunters to the 10 yet, which is going to be his downfall if he doesn't manage to do that because he's going to struggle to get to the 10, he's going to struggle to get to the 40, and that is exactly what we want to see, my guys, exactly what we want to be seeing. And I managed to merge up there for the Merge 3 Dryad. It finally niced me with a beautiful Dryad. Is it going to give me another one? Oh, it does as well. There's the singular dryad I needed to get myself the merge four, to get the merge five, to get the merge six. Boy, that yeah, was beautiful, my guys. Absolutely amazing. Now Tribunal's going to be coming out. We've got two beautiful cultists. We're sacrificing with Jay in. We're getting the Millie crit. He's going down like a sack of spuds. Nothing stands a chance against my cultist, my new Harley Quinn, my level nine dryad. As soon as I get all of these to the max, my guy, you're going to be seeing me up there with the top players. Don't you even worry about it. Just need to be getting a few more cards, a few more crystals, and we'll be away. Hey, hey. Make it away. Get in the way. What do you say? Said day. You're going to slay. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Concentrating as many Harley Quinns on summoners and cultists so we can try and get dryads and sacrifices because... We need to work on it getting it. No, 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 no. Sack, 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 sack. If he merged down that merge six, I would have been absolutely livid. Demi la vida loca. That would have been the end of my day. It really would have upset me then, my guys. But no, he's not getting the merge down off of us today. Can't remember what I was saying. That guy came out and hit me like that. We were able to get rid of that virus straight away. Grandmaster doesn't stand a chance. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying, ladies and gentlemen? Saying that my guy didn't stand a chance? I know that he doesn't stand a chance. You know that he doesn't stand a chance. That wasn't what I was saying, was it, ladies and gentlemen? That really wasn't what I was saying. Saying something about needing to get as many sacrifices as possible because it's increasing our damage. Maybe. Maybe that's what I was saying. And there we go with a full board of cultists. Look at that. 15 cultists looking absolutely fine and dandy. Absolutely beautiful. Sacrificing round about now. Oh, 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 I left it a little bit late there. I'm going to wait now. I, left it, I don't know why I left it so late there. I said I'm going to sacrifice now and just stared at my board. But either way, we've got plenty of cultists to be able to sacrifice and cleanse. Because we've got a, what, Dark Priest and a Grand Master coming out now. 
so that ain't too bad not too bad at all we haven't even got the full amount of Harley Quinn copies in that round either so are we gonna get the increase in damage next round I don't think so I don't think so so now we're hoping for a few more Harleys I do believe because we need to be getting them Harleys down so we're getting the increase in damage oh my guy's at the 40 now Fair play, fair play, he's managed to get himself to the 40. If he can try and get himself a demon hunt on under 10, that'll be big games for him. Big plays. Alright, we're going to have to try and hope that we can change this summoner into a Merge 2 Dryad. Because if we can try and do that, we can then get rid of the Merge 3 Dryad and we can try and drop a little bit more. Because we ain't got nothing to sacrifice. Oh, asking you shall receive. There we go, there we go. And there we go. Beautiful. A couple more cultists there ready to sacrifice. We can try and take these out. We're not really worried about anything at the moment. We're on 37 sacks. We're getting the cleansing there, which is gorgeous. What do we even need cleansing though, really? Dark Priest and the King Pudding coming out next. If we could take this guy out, it would be really, really good. He's got the 13 Dryad. He's got the 11 Sword. The Max Demon Hunter. Max Demon Hunter isn't quite where it's at at the moment, guys, unfortunately. But it's still Max Demon Hunter. It's still not a terrible, terrible unit. Oh, is this where it's ending, my guys? That Banner Lord's 100% going through. Oh, he managed to take out the Purple Goober coming in behind it. Alright, all in all then. Oh, I can't have spell came in and cleansed him. Lovely. I thought he was going to go down then. I thought he was. Getting that last sacrifice in there. So, ooh. We are going to get a couple of hits from Dark Priest there, but it ain't too bad. King Pudding Globs at one of our centre units as well, so that ain't too bad for us. Oh, he's going to be able to take these out. Fair play, fair play. That wasn't too bad. He managed to take his out there, which was really A-OK. -okay. We got a couple of hits off on us there, so it will be nice if we manage to get a couple more cultists on the board so that I can continue to sacrifice. But we'll have to wait and see what we get. Alright, we're merging up there. And we got the merge four sword back. That was a bit unfortunate. That was very unfortunate, actually, but we're looking good. We've got five seconds now. Five seconds until triple bosses. Feels like ages since I've hit triple bosses in a game. Absolutely ages. And coming out at 100 mil as well. No! Grandmaster's getting a hit! No! Change it, change it! Yes! Come on, quick! Yes! We managed to get our full board of cultists back there, man. That was absolutely insane. Surely we're going to be able to take out all of these. Easy, easy, my guys. And there's the dub. Grandmaster went through. Whoa! Not too bad of a crit difference, but how has he got such a good-looking deck for such low crit? I mean, I suppose 2.1k isn't low, really. I remember being at 2k, I remember being at 1.5, I remember being at 200. It all seems so, so far away now, but 2k, I suppose, is really not too far away. But what did you think there to the Harley Quinn talents? Could you notice a 10% increase in damage? I'm not sure if I could. I'm looking forward to them 13 and 15 talents, but it will be a long wait until I do get them because there is so much more that I want to concentrate on, like Sword, Dryad, Summoner, for example, there is just a few. But my guys, that is a good showcase of the level 9 left-hand side talents for the Harley Quinn. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I've really enjoyed making that one. Update 24.1 is going to be amazing. Make sure you're dropping a like if you've enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another Rush Royale video. Peace!